friend myself deepak maurya today we are going to apply the temperature to our body and analyze the thermal stresses on the body okay so here what we are going to do we will construct a one body which is having the length of 200 mm and the cross section dimensions of 40 into of 80 mm and we will apply the temperature to this body of 180 degree celsius and the surrounding temperature of 20 degree celsius so that the change in temperature is 100 degree celsius and how this will go and produce the stresses so this is the ANSYS here we are going for the static structure we are holding and dropping it into the standalone system here we are we are writing the thermal stresses thermal stresses okay engine data you can double click structure steel is came as the default material so we are using the structure steel as a default other things if you want then click on the engineering data source you can go in general material and you can select the other material so i am not interested in other material presently in geometry right click and go in the new space claim geometry new space claim geometry is the ansys cad designing tool and it is one of the best tool here it is easy to import the model directly into the ANSYS without any problem and it's the time saving. So space claim is starting. So till that the space claim is starting. Okay, it has started. So what I can do, this is the space claim. I am selecting the XY plane by clicking on the z-axis now click on this sketch i am taking the rectangle rectangle defined from the center and i am drawing the rectangle of having the dimensions of 80 tab 40 enter so that curve is drawn now go into the 3d model in 3d model then it's converted the sketches into the surface in the surface pull is already selected pull tool is already selected click on the surface and the uh, space bar now press 200 mm so it will extrude the surface into a solid body so it has extruded i am renaming it okay for thermal 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 okay so that you can see it here geometry is already imported that's a beauty i am going in the model in the model we will provide the material to the geometry provide the boundary conditions we will mash it mashing means discretizations of the body into the small elements or the small bodies or the small chunks so that each we can apply the equations on that small elements so here it has imported the body here okay it has imported the body here now in geometry there is a thermal you can see the stiffness behavior flexible it you can change it to this it okay here the non-linear effect is yes assignment is material assigned is the structural steel i'm going in the mesh i'm saying the method i'm saying the method for this body is not automatic i'm saying the sweep so it will take this body as a sweep you can use the element order that you can use the linear or quadratic so i'm using the global setting uh, source or target it is automatic you can create the manual source you can create the manual source it will lock the source i'm saying okay this is a source apply and then it will be say target 
मैनुअल अच्छा आई हैव टेकन द सोर्स ओनली मैनुअल आई हैव आई शुड टेक द सोर्स मैनुअल सोर्स एंड टारगेट तो आई हैव ऑलरेडी टेकन द सोर्स ओके नाउ आई एम टेकिंग द टारगेट टारगेट इज दिस के अप्लाई नाउ यू कैन सी दैट इट विल स्वीप फ्रॉम दैट फेस टू दिस फेस ओके दे आर हैविंग द सेम मैशिंग सो दैट हैज स्वीप फ्रॉम दैट टू हेयर ओके सो दैट्स अ गुड थिंग for the sweeping if it is a symmetric so i can go and i can again say we have to decrease the size actually so sizing of the massing i want to decrease presently it is a uh, 1.09 cm approximately 10 mm so i am going 0.007 okay yes 7 is okay It's more than enough. In the mashing, the body is discretized into the small elements like this. These are the elements. You can see. On these elements, the equations will solve one by one by one. Not exactly on these elements. They are the nodes on every elements. They are the nodes on every elements. This is actually quadratic elements it has chosen because on every edges it is at the center also then it is a quadratic otherwise it is just only at the corners then it is called the linear but at the center node is there availability to so nodes equations are solved at these nodes okay so after that in analysis setting in the structure static structure you can see the environment temperature is 22 degrees celsius we have done it to 120 degrees celsius and insert we are inserting the fixed both side here and here we have applied the two faces the fixed what we are saying okay we are saying the thermal conditions thermal insert a boundary conditions that applies a known temperature to one or more bodies so i am selecting these bodies i am saying 100 degrees no 120 degrees celsius then only the difference will go to the 100 So hundred degrees Celsius difference has gone. I can go. I can say solve. It will solve. When it is solving, it is solving the equilibrium equations in the x, y, and z directions. And at the same time, it is the equilibrium equations for the motions as well as the equilibrium and the three dimensional heat conduction equations. Actually, it is using at the same time. I have not used the convection here. Here I can go in the deformation. I am saying the def in the z directions is here. In the I have gone in the z axis. Sorry, I have gone in the z axis for the deformation. I am going insert the stresses. Maximum principal stresses. Insert stresses. Normal stresses in the z directions. Okay. I'm saying evaluate all the results. You can say normal stresses in the z direction. It has came fifty eight point of one two nine. It is a maximum. No, maximum is here. It is in compression of one point three six giga pascal. It is a very large value actually. Then so where it will be the maximum actually? Where it will be the maximum at this point? Okay. Minimum, it's here. Minimum is here. So that minimum, because it is a symmetric. Okay, it is symmetric, and you can say the directional deformation. The deformation is very less. Uh, okay, deformation is very less. That is in micron, and uh, because it is fixed from here and it is fixed from here. Both side. I can go take the prop. I will say okay. Zero 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 zero. It is having the some deformation in the z direction. Actually, I have put the z direction in z directions generally because it is constrained. So this deformation has occurred just only due to it is extending in the other directions. That's why this ten the power of minus nine, ten the power of minus six. 
7 10 to the power minus 7 so both side it will be 0 0 0 and other side it will be so here the maximum principal stresses maximum principal stresses is 265 megapascal and 202 megapascal the tension that will be the tension maximum maximum one here okay that part is having tension otherwise maximum part is in compression okay that is the thing we can learn here okay like this we can do many other analysis 